Hey everybody, I hope you guys are healthy and safe. So last month I went to Apple headquarters to attend their September launch event, which everybody calls the iPhone event. And while the iPhone is the star of the show, the most important thing that Apple announced that day may just be the new hearing health features that will come to the AirPods Pro 2 very soon via a software update. So the hearing health feature consists of three parts. There's a clinically validated hearing test, meaning you just have to wear the AirPods Pro 2 on the iPhone, there will be a setting for you to conduct a hearing test. You have to go to a quiet environment to do it. It takes five minutes. The AirPods Pro 2 will play a series of sounds at various decibels and see what you can hear or how much you can hear. After that, you will get a full result called an audiogram and this is clinically validated, meaning scientifically, it is almost the same test that you would take at a professional ear doctor's office. So it's just like taking a professional hearing test but at home with AirPods Pro 2 in five minutes. The second part is once you have the results, if you see that you are suffering from moderate hearing loss, the AirPods Pro 2 can then become hearing aids and these are FDA approved. So that means if you're suffering from moderate hearing loss, you can wear these and use them as hearing aids. You can hear your surroundings better. Now this is huge because the average cost of hearing aids are 2000 US dollars and it jumps up a lot more if you want the nicer one. Even now, Sony have released some over the counter hearing aids. They are still 1400 US dollars. The AirPods Pro 2 by comparison are 250 US dollars. And on top of that, these are already everywhere. Like I travel a lot and these are probably the product I see the most, like even more than iPhones, because some Android users use AirPods Pro too. I mean, I am one of them. So these are basically ubiquitous everywhere around the world. Millions of people already use them and now they can be used as a hearing aid. And the best part is after you've taken a hearing test, the iPhone will save that audio profile. So you can have multiple people take the hearing test if you want. Like for example, my mom, she's 72, she's starting to lose her hearing. I, I know because she's always watching TV at home and the volume is loud as hell. So now I can have her take the test and then after that, I can have her wear my AirPods and use them as hearing aid, even though she doesn't have an iPhone to, to herself. Now the third thing that AirPods Pro 2 is gonna be able to do very soon is loud noise reduction. So this is a feature Apple designed to help save your ears before they get too bad because people lose their hearing not just with age, but because they're around loud sound all the time. I go to a lot of bars too to watch live music and I do find if I'm sitting close to the front, the audio to be a bit much for me. Like it kind of hurts my ears. So a lot of people who work at these venues, they will wear earplugs. But when you wear earplugs, you're basically blocking out all the sound and audio would sound a little bit muffled. So with the AirPods Pro 2, loud noise reduction will work automatically and tone down noise that is at a dangerously high level. So I wore these at a bar the other day watching this rock band and it actually worked because it lowered the volume of the music around me, but without muffling the sound. I can still hear the music very clearly, except the volume, it's a little bit lower. It's not like kind of hurting my eardrums. And I think those of you who have tried the AirPods, you will know that the transparency mode and the ANC of these guys are the best in class. And Apple is merely taking this technology and applying it in a real world scenario, using active noise cancellation to reduce loud sound and using the awesome transparency mode to work as hearing aid. In fact, I got the chance to speak to two Apple senior executives to talk about the hearing health feature because it is so important. So I spoke to John Turner, he is Apple's senior vice president of hardware. So he's basically the man responsible for overseeing all of Apple's hardware from the iPhone to the iPad, to Apple Watch, to AirPods, to the MacBook. The second person is Dr. Sumbo Desai. She's vice president of health at Apple and she works closely with Apple's engineers to build the health features in the Apple Watch and now the AirPods Pro 2. So anyway, let's head over to the interview where John Turner's Dr. Sumbo Desai and I talk about the AirPods Pro 2 and how Apple came to design the health features. All right, well, thanks for joining us, Ben. It's nice to meet you. I think um, this is a super exciting uh, moment for us. We've been, you know, really excited about getting these features out here. You know, one of the one of the great benefits and joys of working at Apple is is being able to deliver products that can you know, really have a positive impact on people's lives. This has been a kind of a labor of love, these features for quite some time. If you 
it actually takes us back to the beginning of the AirPods journey where we launched the first AirPods in 2016. Obviously it's been a big hit and people love them, but it's also been for us this platform for, for kind of research and development and technology creation. And along the way, we've had some amazing things like spatial audio and active noise cancellation and, and uh, transparency. And we realized uh, along the way that these same core technologies that were making AirPods Pro just better AirPods, right? Whether it's noise cancellation or transparency, we're actually the core building blocks to be able to create these hearing health features from the loud sound reduction all the way through to the to the, to the hearing test and the, and the hearing aid. And along this journey, it's been this hugely cross-functional effort as, as all things at Apple are. And we've been very fortunate to be able to partner with Sumble and her health team uh, to really help guide the engineering work on what matters in this area. I'll hand it over to, to Sumble to tell you more about that. And I'll just pick up where John left off. You know, hearing is so vital to our lives. It's how we connect with each other. It's how we connect with the world around us. And so often though, we've just accepted that it will fade away for so many people over time. And looked at that and said, okay, how can we help? There's more than a billion people around the world that actually have mild to moderate hearing loss and they're not getting the help they need. So the fact that we can offer this complete hearing health solution and provide you an opportunity to not only assess where your hearing is, but actually provide assistance. And then for everyone, provide the ability, um, what we call loud sound reduction, where AirPods Pro can help protect your hearing by reducing loud sounds in real time, is the opportunity for us to be able to drive healthy hearing health and enable people to be preventative and proactive around their hearing health. First question is, how many years um, have, have, have you guys been working on this? And, and was it like you guys had the idea first, but the tech behind the AirPods weren't ready for it? Or, or did the tech become ready and you guys realized you guys could do this test to benefit consumers? I mean, I look at it as I think the journey started with the original AirPods, right? I think as soon as we, we, we developed the original AirPods and we recognized that we have these devices in people, people's ears, they're wearing them for an extended period of time. It became clear that there was going to be an opportunity around hearing health, but we had to develop the technologies and capabilities to do that. And one of the, the really eye-opening and wonderful things is this recognition that the technologies we needed to enable the hearing health features were the same technologies that were gonna make AirPods and Air, AirPods Pro you know, just that much better, right? So active noise cancellations, obviously a wonderful feature for AirPods Pro. You, you know, you can cut down that train noise or bus noise or airplane noise and get that peace and quiet for focus. But of course, that also enables loud sound reduction, which can help, you know, help protect your ears. The transparency mode that we have, right, allows you to use your AirPods and still be aware of the environment around you. Maybe you want to be able to hear if a car is coming or have a conversation with someone. But once you can pass the sounds of the world through so cleanly, which we've been able to do with our you know, development of our H2 processor and all the algorithms we have there, well, then you realize you can actually amplify the sounds as well and amplify them in the frequencies where it's needed. And so these same features that are there for everybody's use of AirPods actually, you know, with a little bit of fine tuning become like the, the core of these hearing health features. How does the AirPods are hearing test um, differ from, or if at all, from a uh from one you might get at a doctor's office. Um, so the Apple, the hearing test that we are providing has been clinically validated comparable to the gold standard, which is called pure tone audiometry. And that's the approach that's utilized by many, many audiologists in most clinics. And so, you know, when you go into an audiologist, you'll go into a sound booth and have an audiometer and that's what's used. So the hearing test was developed using, um, basically actually based upon our Apple hearing health study, where we had over 160,000 participants, we leveraged a lot of that, that data set to develop this hearing test. It is clinically validated compared to that gold standard, so it is what you would get in, a, in an audiologist's office. The one thing that I wanna call out is it's meant for, you know, the mild to moderate hearing population. Now, if you have severe hearing loss, you can still take the test. You may have that as a result, but there's other tests that audiologists do um, for more severe hearing loss that is, you know, we don't provide that. And so that's kind of for different types of hearing loss, which is more like um, sometimes cochlear or some other things that can cause hearing loss. So I do want to call out that, you know, this is a hearing test that is a great place to start because it's the the one that is used most commonly by audiologists, but if you have specialized hearing needs, you may need a specific type of hearing test in addition to this. So is it sort of like the Apple Watch, it can track your heart health, but 
it's still recommended that if you have serious issues, you can still go see it. Absolutely, see like exactly. So, you know, the idea is that we provided this five minute test that you can get, you know, as you would get as a do at the doctor. So we're democratizing that aspect. If you have a result, for example, and you get, you know, you are found that to have severe hearing loss, we do recommend that you then go connect with a clinician. And, you know, that's done by design, right? There's, we know we can provide help for those that have mild to moderate hearing loss, and that's where the hearing, hearing aid feature comes in. But if you have severe or profound hearing loss, you will need additional assistance, and that's when we recommend you speak to a doctor and you get that guidance through the experience. This is going to be quite disruptive to an existing industry because from what I understand, uh, existing hearing aids are very expensive, like, like average around $2,000 in price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a big part of this this feature is about access, right? I mean, it's it's as Sumbul said, being able to do the hearing test in your own living room, right? As opposed to having to make an appointment and go in, you, it's so easy to do that. And then, like you said, you might already have AirPods Pro too, or you know, they're they're far less expensive than traditional hearing aids. So we think this has the potential to really get a lot more people the help that they need. The other thing I just want to go back to is the stigma around hearing loss is real. Many people are hesitant to actually even engage in, in using a hearing aid. So the idea is, is even if you can start using the AirPods Pro 2 to be able to start experiencing what it's like to augment your hearing, that actually might serve as an on-ramp to get additional hearing help should you need it down the line. But really addressing that stigma is something that we think is also going to be incredibly impactful and we're hopeful that that'll help a lot of people. My next question is on the technology behind how it works. So my mom, she's 73, so she's, I can tell she's slightly starting to lose her hearing because when she watches TV, it's louder than normal people watches it. So then if she wears the AirPods Pro with, with uh, as a hearing aid, let's say down the line, how, how, how would that work? Would that amplify what, what what people say to her so she can hear people better. You know, fundamentally what it's doing is it's taking the the ambient noise and based on your your hearing test and what you need, we can boost the relevant frequencies so that you so that you can hear the conversation in the room better than maybe you, you know, a person would have otherwise. What's also really unique and special about the the AirPods Pro 2 is that that same profile can be applied to when you're using your devices. So whether you're using your iPhone or your iPad or your Apple TV and you're listening to music, you're watching a movie, you're on a phone call, you get that same benefit. So it's applying to the, the outside world, but it's also applying to your media as well. And the one thing that I'll just add to that, you know, when you use a traditional hearing aid, you're augmenting all the sound around you. And one of the unique things that we have with conversation awareness and conversation boost is that you'll if you're talking to someone, say you're in a restaurant, you'll actually hear all of the sounds. But with AirPods Pro 2, we actually will just boost the, vo the conversation in front of you. And that's really beneficial to a lot of people because they struggle with their brain processing all of those noises. But this really gets to allows you to like focus on that conversation in front of you, which is very, very helpful for many. Another feature I'm excited about, it's uh, the loud sound reduction. So I'm assuming yeah. using the H2's machine learning to identify the scene around me and block out the sounds that are unnecessary. Yeah, it's 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 an amazing feature. It's it's real I find it to be incredibly useful. So you know with H2 we're sampling at, at 48 kilohertz. So 48,000 times a second we're sampling and we can bring down the loud sounds that quickly so that you know it can help protect your hearing. But it also with especially with this newest release of software, we have a new multi-band compressor, which even better kind of passes through the sounds with great fidelity. So one of my favorite use cases for them is actually at concerts, right? Because you go to a concert, it's really loud. You put in regular earplugs, maybe the foam ear tips or something, and, and they just kind of muddy everything and it doesn't sound very good. What's amazing with this, with that, you know, high quality kind of pass through, we can bring down the levels, but preserve the actual Kind of quality of the sound so it sounds great but you're not putting that stress on your ears my final question is um so right now it's limited to just the airpods pro right? i'm assuming it will not work for the standard airpods because it does not have passive noise cancellation but will, will this tech be available for say the airpods max down the line well we never talk about any future products but we're we're focused on airpods pro and like you said airpods it's a different form factor, it's non-sealing, right? And so I think what we've been able to do there with the active noise cancellation and transparency, I think is pretty amazing. Uh, but the performance of AirPods Pro with the uh, ear tips is, is obviously at a different level. Um, that's all the questions I have. Thank you for your time. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. So as someone who loves listening to rock music and has a mom that is unfortunately losing her hearing, 
I am now realizing how important hearing health is, and I'm so glad that Apple is working to make a consumer product, an affordable consumer product that can potentially help protect our hearing, or if we're already suffering from hearing loss, can help us regain some of that sense back. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. This is my first time doing this type of interviews on camera, on video at least. So um, if you liked it, if you found it informative, please subscribe to my channel, or give this video a thumbs up. It will help me a lot. Thanks for watching.